Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> I've taken, I've tried to take this video multiple times and each time it just failed. Um, so let's try one more time. Hopefully this works out. So um, this video is, is going to be made for anybody that is having trouble or, um, you know, they're not sure uh, which poker chip to buy. So I've got a whole bunch of samples here that I'm going to show you. Um, and then you can decide for yourself which one you'd like and which one you don't like. And I'll tell you my personal opinions as well and where I bought them from. Um, okay, so first, not to waste a lot of time on these ones here. These are your typical non-denomination chips. Um, I would stay away from them. Uh, like, look at this. This is like a token from the 1800s. I don't know why anybody would play with these. These are your typical dice chips that you find from Walmart. Um, I would not recommend playing with these. These guys here are, are a step above these ones here. They're a little bit heavier, just different variations. Again, I wouldn't play with any of these because there's no denomination. You know, imagine you're sitting at the table uh, with your friends and, you know, like halfway through it, somebody's like, oh, how much is the green one worth again? You don't want to go through that. You can always write the numbers on them, but why would you waste time with that? Just pay a few more bucks and get chips with de denominations on them. Uh, these ones are World Poker Tour. Uh, they're, they're heavier, but again, no numbers, so I would not recommend. If you had to get one of these, I would recommend these ones here. They're heavy. Um... Just based on that okay i don't like playing with chips that are nine ten grams you know i'm one of those even though in the real casinos that's what uh people play with i recommend playing with or i like playing with chips that are heavier that are 14 grams um 13 grams it just makes you feel like you're rich richer essentially i didn't put these in any specific order i just kind of put the single ones i have over here and then the bigger ones on this side here so i'll try to go through them as quick as possible um, so these guys here are a step above those ones because they have numbers on them. I would still not play with these because, like, look at this chip. There's too much noise happening and the five on there is way too small to see. Same with this one here. Like, you can barely see that five dollars right in the middle there. That's too much things happening. Las Vegas, the background color, the cards and the dice and the number. Stay away, you know. I would, I would not play with these. Uh, the Tournament Pro chips, again not nice chips i don't really like them even though there's a there's numbers on them these ones here are i think a little bit better than these ones because the number is nice and large so you can see it on there i just don't like that there's no dollar sign on there um out of all these ones i prefer to play with this one even though there are there's no dollar sign on it i just feel like these ones are better looking heavier and i don't know just a personal opinion um these guys here, I don't know why anybody would play with them. Look at the inlay, it's like metal and you can barely see the number on there. Um, and it's like a mirror, so I don't know why anybody, like they're ugly, these are ugly. I don't like playing with these. I don't even like how they look. These poker rooms, they're okay, they're very heavy. Um, I don't really like them that much just because it's, again, too much things happening in there, no dollar sign, the number is too small. Uh, I forgot what these guys are called. Actually, I don't know what any of those ones are called. They're just your, your basic plastic chips. Um, these ones here are metal inserts. These are heavy. They're okay. They're definitely a step above those guys and maybe even these guys here. And I I mean, I'm, I don't know. Again, too many things happening. Like, you can barely see the number on there. There's way too much shine on there. What number is it? This has got to be a one. You can barely see the one in the corner, the top there in the bottom. Um, there's many different variations of the Las Vegas chips, and I'll get to those ones and those ones in a minute. Um, my first set was the Las Vegas, actually. Uh, those ones over there. So these are a step above all those ones up there, just because, I mean, you know, it does say Las Vegas. The number is clear, even though it's small. These are other Las Vegas chips, not the same logo as these ones. Um, these are not bad. They're okay. Of course, the two I had to get are the ones that... <laughs> Are similar color, five thousand and the twenty-five dollars. The other colors are actually not that bad. Um, out of all these ones, I would recommend not including this. The black diamond. The black diamonds are actually not bad. They're nice. I I've played with these multiple times. Um, you know, the number is right in the middle. There. The dollar sign is very small, but the gloss isn't as bad as those ones. So yeah, I definitely don't mind the black diamond poker chips. Now these I really like. So these are the uh, the cash club. They're very heavy, um, nice inlay, nice golden circle in there. It says, you know, $100 all over and in the middle. So I definitely like these ones here. And out of all the ones I've, I've talked about so far, the Monte Carlos are my favorite. Look at these. These are just beautiful chips, you know? 
the dollar sign is so big, the number is so big, uh, very you know minimal in the middle there with the little signature, um, the, the the golden circle around, and they just look like a regular like a nice poker chip that you can find at the casino, you know. So I definitely recommend these ones here. Uh, these guys again, glossy. Um, not much to say about them to be honest. They're they're okay. They're heavy. The number is very small. I played with these once. I had a set of them and I told myself don't play with them again. So no. These guys are very nice. Okay. So so far these are my favorite out of the ones that I've mentioned. Um, well, they're tied with this one here. But these Vegas ones, I love the colors of them. I made another video about them. You can actually see that if you look at my playlist. Um, but these are very nice. They're heavy. Um, but I, I don't know where you can find them. I think I got these from uh, uh, Mr. Poker, I think it's called. MRC Poker. So Mr. C Poker uh, website. These and these I got from um, Game Room Depot, I think they're called. What are they called? Yeah, what is it called? Game Room Depot. So that's these, uh, the ones I showed you, the 25 and the 5,000. Um, and then this is the Cash Club. So the one I showed you was the 100 on the next page. So these uh, go down smaller there. Um, but yeah, so moving on. So these are the regular Las Vegas. So this was my first ever set. So this is the ones that, I actually didn't mind playing with these as, an, as a you know, first timer. Um, they're okay to play with, but after I discovered the rest of the chips, I'm like, you know what? These are not ones to play with anymore. Um, but they're much better than all the other first chips that I, that I mentioned over there. Like these guys up here. These are, what are these called again? Let me just go back and double check. I think they're called, oh uh, God, I don't remember what they're called. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't remember. Oh, ultimate laser. That's right, ultimate laser. So those are the ultimate laser. Um, I played with these as well once and I told myself not to play with them again just because, I mean, I don't know. I'm not really a fan of the inlays of them. So I'm just gonna quickly show you what they each look like here. Okay. I'd rather play with the Las Vegas ones up here than these guys just cause I don't like the inlays too much of these. Okay, so. Okay, so I just had to cut the video for a second, but I'm back now. Okay, so I was showing you guys what this this uh, set was here. So on to the next one. Um, so these ones are called uh, Prestige Poker Chips, and they're from StraightPokerSupplies.com. Uh, I had a set of these. Uh, they're okay. Again, I don't like the fact that there's no dollar sign on them. Um, but the number is pretty big. The weight is not bad. Um, but that being said, I would not buy them and play with them again. Um, the orange 500 is a little strange, but I do kind of like it. I don't like the 1000 yellow. This type of yellow I'm, I'm not a fan of. And the 5000 pick is not bad. But um, like I'd play with the Vegas over these ones. You know, uh, but I would play these ones over these ones, for example. Now, on to actually one of my favorite chips, uh, poker chips, and it's these poker nights right here. So these are my favorite ones, okay? And why is because I like that it's minimalistic in here. It tells you how much it's worth. And it's, the number is right in the middle, it's clear. Um, and like, there's even a cent sign on this one here, right? So the 25 cent, the 50 cent, which I like the color of this one, the $1. Um, and this is interesting, the $2 and it's green. Some people might not like this color combination. I kind of don't mind it. I don't know, it's, it's unique, you know? And the fact that there's $2 makes it uh, better. Um, like for me, for example, I'd play with 25 cents, 50 cents, $1, $2, $5, and $10, for example. Here's the $5, and the 10, the 25. Now, the one I don't like in this set is the 100. I don't like the 100 just because the color that they chose doesn't stand out. 
Um, if you notice, the color they choose in the inlays is dissimilar to the ones at, in the corner. Like the 25 cent is black, 50 cent is blue, $1 is uh, brown, $2 is pinkish, five. You know, this one they chose, like you, you can barely see it. Like the $25 is green, but at least you can see these numbers clearly. The 100, you can't, and I don't like that. $500, not bad, 1,000. Okay, 5,000, and then the large one is the 25,000. Now, these, this sample set is actually very old. The poker set that I bought, the 500 set that I bought from uh, Straight Poker Supplies, they don't actually have the middle glossy part. You see how it's a little bit glossy like that? It's, it's not there, and I don't like it. I prefer with the gloss part here. So I'm not sure if there's any other website that sells these uh, poker nights with the gloss in the middle. I prefer it because the ones from Straight Poker Supplies doesn't have the, the gloss. So it's like this material, you know, and I, I, don't, I don't like that. But that being said, I still like how they look and their weight. Now, these guys, stay away from them, okay? This is from Mr. C Poker, and it's a cheap knockoff of the Poker Knights. So obviously, Poker Knights came first, and these guys, they just came and just tried to carbon copy. Look, exactly the same as these ones here, but uglier. Look at it. Like, it's just... I don't understand how how they can just copy it like that. You know, the number, like they have a, a knight in the back here. It's, it's kind of fainted. You can kind of just look at, at the background. You know, you can see there's a, a knight on a horse. This one, they just have a knight like that and the amount. It doesn't have the, the name like these ones here. Um, but I just, I, I bought these um, samples just to see how they are, you know? They're a little bit cheaper than the Poker Knights, but same weight, but it's like a carbon copy. But I don't like them. I don't like the way they look. Look at them. Look at them. They're ugly. I, I think they're ugly. The number is not, like if they removed this or made it lighter and put the number in the middle, maybe that would have been better, you know? But everything else is the same. Same colors, same everything, you know? 500, 1,000. Now this one doesn't go to 25,000. Instead, they have a 10,000 instead of 25,000. Look at how they put the number, how it like mixes in with the inlay, with the picture in the middle. Like that's not organized. I don't like these. I really hate these. You know, zero out of five. Now, other than the Poker Knights, these are my other favorite ones. And these are the Cash Clubs. And again, look at these. You know, they're nice weight. Um, the, the colors are very nice. They're actually similar colors to the Poker Knights, the orange 50 cent. I prefer the blue 25 cent over the gray, um, but again, it's clear, it's minimalistic, colors are nice, uh, 25 cent with the cent, the dollar 50 cent. It has a $2 chip, which I like as well. $5, 10, 25, uh, the 100 is nice, 500, 1,000, and the 5,000. So I had a set of these as well, and I really liked playing with them. So you could either play, you know, cash games at home, 25 cents, 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, and ten, or you can play with the higher ups there. Now, similar to these chips, and when I say similar, I mean the same um, outline, are these uh, uh, desert heat poker chips. So when I ordered these, I realized that the website forgot to send me the 50 cent one, so I wasn't too happy about that, but what can you do? Um, a lot of these I ordered from American website. I'm, I'm actually from Canada, so... I had to pay extra to get them to come here, you know, for the uh, the shipping fees. But I really like poker chips. And you'll discover after a while that once you start liking poker chips, you're going to be like me and just collect them. Um, these Desert Heats are actually not that bad. I had a set of these as well that got, I got rid of. Uh, so they're pretty nice. The exact same as the Cash Club um, outside, you know, how they look on the outside. Same weight to them. Um, they're kind of like the Las Vegas Casino Tropicana, I believe, you know, with the, uh, the palm trees and, and whatnot. So you got the $10, 25, you got the $50, 100, 500, 1,000, 5,000, and the 10,000. There we go. So nice chips. These are very nice. Now, these are also nice. These are the Casino Royale, and I got these from Apache Poker. Um, you know, the Apache Poker Chips website. So I got these, again, imported from the US to Canada. 
so these are actually very nice, and the re and uh, the reason why I like them is because they're from the game, uh, the movie Casino Royale. These three right here, and I made a video about them actually a larger, a longer video, well not longer, but a short video about these three plus the plaques from the movie. Um, but yeah, they're nice weight. Uh, there's no like cracking or anything like that from those other chips over there. So one dollar, five dollars. 2500 500 now if I had to play with these I probably would play with these four and not even these four I probably wouldn't even play with a thousand I'd go to like the movie the five thousand dollar chip twenty five thousand dollars and a hundred thousand and I did have I did have a set of these as well that I got rid of um, another set from straight poker supplies is these uh, monocle millions now a lot of people like these chips um, for some reason, I don't like the inlays. It looks like, you know what it reminds me of? What's that um, old uh, game show on TV they used to have with uh, with Howie? Uh, something, I forgot what they're called. The ones with the briefcases, you know? It reminds me of the same type of uh, text on there. Um, so, because of that, I'm not really a fan of them. Again, a lot of people like them. I was thinking about buying a set of these and, and trying them out, but I decided against it. So I'm just going to show you each chip here. Uh, I like the $50 chip, the color of it, you know, and the 100 So if I were to get a, a set of these, I'd, I'd get them with the higher denomination, not the lower. Like the Poker Knights and the Cash Club ones, I'd probably get lower denominations. So yeah, so that's these ones here. Now we're getting to the more expensive chips here. Um, so the ceramics that I have here, uh, the scroll ceramic, and I actually really like these chips. Oh, the 25 should be way over here, actually. I really like them. The only problem is they're so bloody expensive. Like they're really expensive. It's like $12 Canadian for 25 chips. That's too much. I guess that's gonna run you like $300 plus, you know, if you wanna get a set of, uh, 500. Um, I don't like the smaller denominations, like I don't like the $1 here, the way it looks. I don't like the 5 or the 25 uh, but everything else I like. So I really like the $100 chip. And you know what actually has the denomination as well, if you can see that. I can't tell from my camera. On the side, the $500 is nice. Um, and the 1000 and the 5000 So I wish I can get a large set of these four denominations, but I don't want to spend $200 on that. Um, so these ones here are the ones that people seem to to really like playing with, maybe because they're light. Not me. I don't like these chips at all. They're way too light, like eight grams, nine grams. So these are the next gen pro classic chips. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Um, so I'll just quickly show them to you if it wants to focus. 2,500, 500, I'll pick them all up. Uh, five, a thousand, and then a million dollar chip right there. Again, focus. I don't like these, and they're expensive. These ones I can't find anymore. So these are the uh, the World, uh, what are they, the Poker, Classic Poker series. You know, these are the ones they actually play in, on TV with. And I think I bought these from Apache uh, Poker Chips, and they don't have them anymore. So, yeah, 100, 500, 1,000. I actually really like the $5,000 chip here. I just don't like the weight of it, you know, just because they're light, too light for me. And then from five, 25, 100,000, and these go up really high. 150,000, 500,000, and a million bucks. There you go, million dollars. So, oh, focus, why isn't it focusing? There we go. So that's my sample set here. I did have a lot of other chips um that i got rid of and i have i used to have a lot of plaques as well um again just to go back oh and, and i forgot to mention like look at these so there's different variations of the las vegas chips right just depends on what you'd like um you know again so these these two are exactly the same this one is just shiny glossy i prefer these ones though and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video hopefully you understand more about uh what chips you, know, you want. And if you have any questions, by all means, leave a comment and I'll try to answer them. And yeah, I'm going to be making more videos later on, hopefully soon.